This is part one of the indicator lab. Into each of these test tubes, I will be placing approximately two milliliters of 0.01 molar hydrochloric acid. Let's do the litmus test of the 0.01 molar hydrochloric acid. So again, we have two different kinds of litmus paper. Let's start with the red litmus paper and we'll place this tip into the solution here. And so this is the red litmus paper in 0.01 molar hydrochloric acid. Hopefully you can see that in the lighting here. Now the blue litmus paper, remember, has a little bluish tint to it, okay? So we're gonna place this into the hydrochloric acid, which is 0.01 molar, okay? And that's the color of litmus paper in 0.01 molar hydrochloric acid. So hopefully you can kind of see the tip of the wetted litmus paper. Okay. And then I will be adding one drop of these indicator solutions in front of each of the test tubes. From your left to right, we've got um, methyl orange, I'm sorry, <laughs> thymol blue, uh, methyl orange in the middle here, and then phenolphthalein on the very right. Please refer to your indicator table to see what colors to observe for that, okay? I've got a white paper here behind me, and I'll uh, bring it up to the camera with the white paper so you can see it in a bit, okay? So we'll add just one drop to that guy there. It's not mixed yet, so give me a second here and then I'll do that. All right. Okay, so let's now look very carefully at the colors. This is uh, thymol blue in 0 0.01 molar hydrochloric acid. Okay. The next one is methyl orange. Methyl orange has this appearance in 0 0.01 molar hydrochloric acid. And the last one is phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein has uh, this color in hydrochloric acid. Okay. 